everyone. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a snowflake with the new Snowflakes template pack in Dazzling Reflections. Then we're going to export this image so that we can use it in another graphics program. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see I've got all the templates open. There are 16 new templates with the Snowflakes collection and we'll be using SF06 today. So I'm going to click on it once to select it. I've also imported my photograph, so I'll just go ahead and double click, then click in the master segment, and now I can start designing my snowflake. So I'm just going to manipulate this photograph in the master segment until I get a design that I like. So I'm pretty happy with this design right here. Actually, I think I'll make it just a little bit more defined on the edges. Now the next step is to export this. So I'm going to go up to File, select Export. I'm just going to leave the resolution at 3x3 three three and 300 dpi. Click OK. Then it's going to ask me where would you like to save this. I'm going to leave it in this folder which I've already designated it to. And the file name, I'll just call it by the template name which is SF06. Then when it says file type, it will default to JPEG, but you want to pull down this menu bar and select PNG or Portable Network Graphic. Then I'm going to hit save. And now I've saved that snowflake in the folder. So now we're done with this portion of the video. So the next step is opening up the graphics program. For this next part of the video tutorial, we'll be using Craft Artist Platinum Edition. So I already have the software open. I've got the picture loaded that I'll be cropping. Now all we need to do is go to Add and find the snowflake that we made in Dazzling Reflections. So here's my snowflake layout folder and there's the snowflake that we exported. I'll click Open and that brings that onto the screen for me. So now I'm just going to click and hold and then drag and drop it onto the layout. I'm going to increase the size and I can always resize afterward. Then I'm going to go over to the photos again and drag and drop the photo that I'll be putting inside the snowflake. So the first thing I need to do is crop this photo. and I'm going to use the scissors tool so I'll click on that first. Then I'm going to select the circle punch and I'll just resize that punch to the area that I need. So I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. Then click on cut. Then all this space here that you see transparent, when I click it removes all that from the image. Now I still have this image selected. Now I want to use the transparency tool. So I'll click on here. Then I'll go over to the transparency menu and select radial. Now if you take a look there's a black dot dead in the center. I don't want to move that dot for this project. What I want to do is just go a little bit above it, click on the blue line, and create a new black dot. Now when I click and hold on this dot and start to move up the blue line, you can see that more of her face is revealed. If I go all the way to the top, I lose the transparency on the edges. So what I'm going to do is just bring this a little bit further down, maybe just to the top of her cap, and that looks perfect. So now the transparency effect has been applied to this photograph. I'm going to click on the select arrow. Now I can move this on top of my snowflake and I can resize it. Now that I've got that in place, I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the snowflake. So now I have selected the snowflake and the circle that we've cropped. Then I'm going to click group and now I can freely move this around the page as one piece. I can also resize it and maintain the aspect ratio. So this looks good right here. I'm just going to rotate it ever so slightly, move it into position. Then I want to add one more thing to this before we're finished. I'd like to add a shadow effect so that it looks just like the other two snowflakes that I have on the page. So to do that I'm going to go down to the FX or effects menu click on that. Now we've got a new dialog box that comes up. The very first option is drop shadow. 
And if I go down to intensity and I move this up the slider bar, you can see the shadow becomes much more intense. So obviously I don't want it that intense. I'm going to bring it back down to say maybe about 3. I don't want the shadow to match exactly with these other two snowflakes because I would like this one to be a bit more pronounced. So I think that's a good setting. So I'm going to hit OK and now our project is complete. So you can save this, send it off for printing, um, you know, whatever your project is going to be. So I think you'll agree that Dazzling Reflection Snowflakes make a great addition to any scrapbook page. You could also use these to make cards, or you could put on printable fabric and make a beautiful quilt or a pillow for the holidays. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and found it informative. We'd love for you to stop by our website, www.poppyhilldesigns.com. We have lots of other products up there that are great for digital application, and you can also find out more about the Snowflake templates and other template packs for Dazzling Reflections.